Hello, user testing community. It is Mike McDowell once again from the solutions consulting team here at user testing back with another tip of the week. Now this week's tip is going to be all about choosing the right audiences. And sometimes we need more than one audience. So how are we going to do that with user testing? You aren't restricted to just one audience in the same study. So you actually can have multiple audiences. This actually works for a number of reasons. Sometimes you want to test, multiple devices in the same study to get perception across devices like desktop and mobile. Uh, sometimes you want to get a mixture of men and women, you know, want half men, half women or some other ratio. And sometimes you have even more specific diversity and inclusion goals for your research. And so you can do that with multiple audiences to guarantee you get exactly the right ratio of people that you want in the study. So I'm going to show you how to do that really quickly. Let me shrink myself here. And you can see we're on the build a new test screen. I'm just going to go ahead and say select a website test. And I'm going to say build my audience. And now, as you know, we're going to get the primary test creation screen here. Uh, the overview where I've got select an audience and I've got build my test plan. Just a reminder, you're going to rename your test up here. And I'm going to go right into selecting my audience. Now, a reminder, when I click this, you're going to see a bunch of saved audiences in my demo account here. So you don't need to worry about those uh, things that I've created. Uh, no one's going to be surprised to see that car rental one on the top. Now, here is my audience. So let's just say I'm going to name this. I'm going to call this. I'll just say men. I'm just going to call this audience men. Let's say I'm doing a study of 10 people. I need to make sure that I get five men and five women. Now, a lot of times when you run user testing studies, you will get a good mixture of people. But sometimes you could get all men. You could get all women. It's like flipping a coin sometimes. You know, you can get 10 heads in a row. It's unlikely. But, you know, it can happen. And so I'm going to specify five men here on a computer and I'm not going to, I'm not going to be worried about the age right now. I'm just going to say United States. And actually, you know what, why don't I make this more specific? I'm going to say, I want age 30 to uh, 55 and uh, I've got that and household income. I'm going to say just, I want them to be higher than uh, 60,000. And so now I've got a, a decent little audience here. I'll add, I'll make up one screener questions to give it uh, some specificity. And we'll just say, um, let's say, uh, <laughs> are you planning to travel in the next six months? Now, I think a lot of you are going to be yelling at the screen right now saying, Mike, you said many times, don't do a binary question. I wouldn't normally do a binary question, but this is just a demo and to get a question in here. So I would normally say, what are the, what are, the follow, which of the following are you planning on doing in the next six months and have a bunch of answers. Travel would be one of them. I would also have a dummy answer in there that was an automatic reject. But for now, we're going to put in this binary question. Are you planning to, to travel in the next six months? Yes, no. We're going to say done. And so now we have an audience here that is five men that are planning to travel in the next six months, age 30 to 55 in the U.S. with household income higher than 60,000. Now, all I have to do is click on this little three dots here. I can either edit this audience, I can delete it, or I can just duplicate it. So now I've duplicated it. I'm going to change this to women and I'm going to go here and I'm going to change my, oh, I forgot to add the gender demographic. Oh, look at that. So I'm going to put in the gender here. I'm going to say female. Now I'm going to, you can see, we also got non-binary in there as well. If you, that's what you need. And so we're going to say done. And so now I've got my women. You can say it says female. Now I forgot to do the men. So let's fix that. So let's go back here and edit, put in the gender and we'll put in male. And so you can see everything else duplicated. Everything else is the same. And this is going to guarantee us that we get five from this audience and five from that audience. Your audiences can be as specific as you want to make sure that it's exactly who you need in that study. So that is going to be it this week. Hopefully this little tip about audiences, bringing multiple audiences into the same study has been helpful. I, it's going to be a lot easier on, on you than what some of you have been doing, which is running multiple studies to get the different audiences, one audience per study. This will bring those results together, blend them all for you right on the platform. So I want to see more people building more specific audiences into their studies, meeting those quotas that you have internally for your diverse and inclusive research. And I will be back again in seven days. It's going to be after the holiday. Should, I'm going to be off next week, but I'll try to get another one recorded before then so that you've got one for next week. I'll be back again in seven days with another user testing tip of the week. Happy holidays, everybody.